In this video, I'm going to show you how to programmatically capture the screen in Windows from the command line and also within the Windows subsystem for Linux. This is a useful tool for when you're writing a program in Ruby, Python, or other scripting language and you want to capture the screen. To do this, we're going to install a utility program named NUR command, I think that's how you say it, which will do the heavy lifting for us. It's a freeware program that you can install directly from its website or through the Chocolatey package manager. Here I'm going to install it using Chocolatey. Now when we type in the name of the program at the command line, we get the about box pop up which lets us know that it's been successfully installed. So now I'm going to move my screenshots directory and test out the command nur command save screenshot. Now as you can see it created a file with the name nur command test.ping. Let's look at that file in the file system and see what we got. So we can look at it here in Explorer and it captured the contents of my other screen. The picture here is actually what I have set up as my primary screen in Windows as I'm writing the commands right now in what's the secondary screen to the left on my desktop here. I'm going to go ahead and swap that out in my Windows settings and show you what happens when we run this command again. So as you can see, now it captured the command line itself, which is now the new primary screen. So what if we want to capture the secondary screen? We can do that by specifying a coordinates to capture. Right now I'm on the left screen, which is set as a primary, and I want to capture everything on the right screen, which is my secondary screen. So I'm going to specify the pixel coordinates, 192110 because I run both screens at a resolution of 1080p, which is 1920 wide by 1020 height. So the X coordinates of my secondary screen begins at pixel 1921. And then the last two numbers here are the size of the box that I want to capture off of that first pixel, which is 1920 by 1080. So we give that a try, and now we can see the secondary screen. Now what if we want to do this from within the Windows subsystem for Linux? Okay, well I'm in my Debian WSL instance right now, and we can run the exact same command as is, but the only difference is that I have to put the .exe at the end of the command name. So there I run the same command, and we can see the screenshot in the current directory. Now I'm going to take this a step further and try to run this through a Ruby program. In Ruby, you can run commands in the shell from within your program by enclosing the command as a text string within accent characters. So I'm going to run this command from the Rails console, dynamically specifying the full path name to it using the rails.root.join command. These accent characters work just like quotes where we can interpolate strings. So running the command returns an empty quotes because there's no return output. And now let's look for it in the file system by doing an ls. There we can see the file name. So we can bring it up also in Explorer, and there you go, you can see the contents. Well, I hope this was a useful tip for you. Please like this video and subscribe my channel to get more interesting programming tricks like this. See you next time.